Watch who? Hello. Hello and welcome to the Two Watch Who podcast. I'm Mark. And I'm Sarah. And I'm a Doctor Who fan. And I'm new to Who. Yep, watching for the very first time. <laughs> yeah. And we have nearly finished this very first series. We're yeah. getting there, aren't we? We're getting through them. Yeah, I know. It's gone quite quick. And enjoying them. <laughs> yeah. Yes. It's slowed down a little now. Yeah. Well, well yeah. What did we have last time? <laughs> yeah. Aztecs, we've enjoyed that, haven't we? we last, yeah, last the Aztecs one. was yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the majority you have enjoyed. Yeah. 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 And this time we are back in space. Well, let's just go straight into it then, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, let's so go. It, so, well, we left, didn't we? We left Barbara's rogueness of the Aztecs last time, <laughs> oh, yeah. didn't we? And then they were in the Dominating. TARDIS. They are in the TARDIS and the TARDIS was moving... But still, and they were like, "Oh, maybe we're inside something." Yeah. And then well, that, Barbara was. Barbara was like trying to suss it out. Yeah, yeah. And then we ended up watching the Sensorites. Yeah. So weird. <laughs> That's how I ended up watching. So um, weird. So initial thoughts, because this is our. You've done a sort of a bit of everything now, haven't you? We've done our historical. We've done some sci-fi. We had the Keys of Marinus. Yeah. So. What we have, we have the Daleks, Mariner. So this is your third 60s sci-fi. Yeah, I know. What, just generally, what are you thinking? Um, the stories, I think, are good. Okay. The overall story and the theme, I think, okay. is good. I accept that it's the 60s and things are a bit, like, knockoff and cheap, like the costumes. Well, the sensors don't look, look amazing, oh do gosh, they? They're hilarious, aren't they? <laughs> they're just, like... So when they're in the TARDIS, and it is, like, quite dramatic, isn't it? Like... And it is. It's it's really dramatic because they're like, you feel that tension, that drama, like, because you don't know what they look like and there's that tension, like, what are they? Oh, you know, yeah. and it is quite tense. And then Ian's like, Doctor, look. And you look outside the window and it is hilarious what oh. <laughs> he looks like. Well, He's so well actually, okay, well, let's just, okay, let's just go back <laughs> just one step. Um, so this one was a... Another one that I haven't seen a lot of, mm. it was at the end of the videos. Again, these ones all at the back end of the video <laughs> section. <laughs> <laughs> so this was one of the last ones to be released, I remember. Yeah. And I was about, was I in school? So when, when did I in school? Must have been 16 or so. Mm. Um, it was a weird time. 16, 17, I sort of did have about a year sort of out Ooh. Of fan of being a fan, really, mm. it's sort of that time finishing school, going off to uni and stuff. Yeah, and yeah. it just it was an actual time. It was like about six months. I didn't buy Doctor Who magazine. Oh. I didn't buy. I didn't keep up with anything. Yeah, and yeah. the videos they were still sort of towards the end because DVD had just come in. Yeah, yeah. And then I well, I had a part time job then, so I was getting quite a lot of money actually each week. <laughs> It's quite good. <laughs> so I had all this, and I, I remember seeing it was the first Doctor Box set, and basically they put the three like end yeah, <laughs> first yeah. Doctor stories together. So it was Time Meddler, Gunfighters, and Sensorites. They put them in this box set of VHS, and I just I had the money. I was you know I thought well yeah okay I'll give it a try because I've never yeah, I've yeah. never seen any of those ones and watched the Sensorites for the first time. And watching that end of that first episode yeah. that you were saying, yeah. that is a really good cliffhanger. That is my, so far, that is the most sort of shocking cliffhanger to see Because that there thing. is a lot of tension. I remember watching it the very first time on, on video at that time, and I was like, I wasn't like young, young. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, that, that, <laughs> it genuinely is, yeah. that is on my list of shocking cliffhangers. It's the first one that's like it's, it um, really is, isn't it? And and that first episode <laughs> is, is really funny. good because, as you say, the tension in that first episode. It's our minds that they take over, so we must assume that the brain is all important. Now, let us our own intelligence be our own defence and attack. I can sense them all around us now. Shh. So there's a lot of tension, and I'm totally with you. But it is funny. I, I know, mean, I don't Mark, think that, I mean, later on, yeah, with the Velcro up the back and all of that. And their weird feet And thing. their feet. You love their feet. <laughs> but, um... Oh, I'm totally with you. Like, because, like, the tension is ridiculous. Like, there's, yeah. there is a lot and of tension. And you just see it. And they all... 
like and you feel <laughs> literally like doctor look and it's completely black and it's just there and yeah, it does look really it's ugly scary. i mean a child like child in the oh, 60s yeah, totally. i would be having nightmares if i was Absolutely. in the 60s that <laughs> seems scarier than the daleks yeah yeah in exactly. my opinion 100 percent. but 100 i did have a good laugh when i saw yeah, it yeah yeah fair <laughs> enough actually thinking about it i had a poster of the sensor rights did when you? i was a child oh, of course so you it did. was before i saw it so i remember like my seventh or eighth birthday there's a picture of them standing in their doorway <laughs> Out on the wall <laughs> of my like, kids, right kids, kids birthday party you know with party rings and jelly and stuff <laughs> and these two sensorites <laughs> in colour with their feet and their grey things <laughs> on the wall I'll have oh to find a photo gosh. of that I'm sure I've got it <laughs> <laughs> it was like Doctor Who like classic comics it had like this I just remember that yeah I had it on my wall for ages Never, and I'd never seen them never you know, didn't know they were at what they were like on TV. That's hilarious. But you know, you get the poster and you put it on the wall, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's like a picture of like my nan, you know, a kid's birthday with these sensorites behind her. You need to find that picture. That's hilarious. Oh man. Um, so anyway, so yeah, we've sort of got off track already, haven't we? Gosh, there's so yeah. much to talk about with this one. Um, so the sensorites look okay. Let's go. Let's go back, and we. So we've got that first episode. We meet our guest characters for this week, don't we? Yeah, I love talking about these guests. Our guest characters. Yeah, yeah. Um, got the three of them. We've got three of them. We've got Carol. Yep. We've got Mate Maitlin. Maitlin. Which we weren't sure of his name straight away, but no. um, and John. John. <laughs> Carol, John, and Maitlin. Carol's... Maitlin is only really around for the first. I just like, realised oh, we just finished watching episode six, and I was like, oh yeah, we don't actually see him after those first episodes. No, no, he kind of like bops off with Barbara, really, um, doesn't he? So where were you thinking when we first watched it? Obviously, before the sensorite turned up, <laughs> were you, you, you know, oh, no idea. or were you like, I had what, no what's idea going what was... on? In fact, to the point where I was getting a bit frustrated. Okay. Because. Like, it was a proper cliffhanger, but I was like, what is going on? It's, what is happening? I do quite like that, though, because it's we've seen this a quite a few times where yeah. it's the they come out of the TARDIS and then it's just them sort of investigating and looking in this. All I have a, in my head, though... There's some deserted place. ...is edge of destruction. What, what, what do you mean? Do I mean edge of destruction? The two One parts. in the TARDIS, yeah. Yeah, so whenever I... These... Oh, it's not as bad as that. No, 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 but whenever I have these episodes where nothing seems to be happening right, okay, for a think, long uh-oh. time, I have, uh-oh, edge of destruction. Like, <laughs> and there was a long time in this episode of like, no, you don't understand. Oh, what's happening? Oh, they just... Oh, I don't know. Oh, they just... I don't know what happened. Oh, And it's like... Mm, edge of destruction. Okay. I'm never going to find out what's happening here. Or it's going to be a whole episode of... And then let's just talk about, hang on, them getting... So, um, oh, yeah, Barbara I know what you're going to say. I know exactly what <laughs> you're going to say. Barbara and Susan yeah. get stuck in with John. Also, didn't find out about John for ages. Tell me, have either of you ever met any of these creatures or seen them? John has. Ah, he's the other member of your crew, isn't he? Uh, yes, our mineralogist. I'd like to have a talk with him. I'm afraid that's out of the question. Oh, why not? I'd rather not talk about it. What's wrong? And I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with John? <laughs> <laughs> no one's even saying. Then they were like, so I've got to get him out. But why? What's wrong? Just got to get him out. What the fuck is wrong with John? Okay. So then they get this like cutting thing, the weediest thing ever. Like they're gonna be waiting days to get them up. Like it's a very small like, like burning the thing. It's yeah, like, but forever. Yeah. They're never gonna get him out. And they're like, come on. It's like, oh, it'll be any time now. And I was like, will it? Hey, they're going to be <laughs> yeah. in there forever. It's quite a slow paced story, this one. And compared... then suddenly they're all asleep. And I was yeah. like, bloody hell. I, think... like, like, I was like, oh. Compared to sort of like the, ad- the adventure that we've had, even with the Daleks, Keys of Marinus. Keys of Marinus. Even the Aztecs was a, was a different kind of story, but it still sort of had that pace. This one was a much slower build. And yeah. although it had the suspense. Like, the first two episodes could have been sort of one episode. Yeah. You it know, was just a lot of nothing. It, there was a... Yeah, that's the it thing. It was a and lot not of really nothing. Much, and even, like, Keys of Marinus, where you've got something different to look at... Yeah. The sets in this weren't particularly so what, amazing. It was very sort of bland, wasn't it? What and, made this 
first episode yeah. was that cliffhanger. Oh, yeah. First episode's, the, I think, the best episode. But you're completely right. You could have had two in one. Yeah. And you couldn't have had that cliffhanger. That's the trouble. But... No, yeah, that's the thing. You build up to uh, who are the censorites, like yeah, you say. but it was a whole episode. It was a whole 20 minutes of that. And it was yeah, just... Yeah, and Maitland oh. and Carol aren't exactly the best people to... <laughs> chat to like, on the way. Yeah, because get found asleep. And like it was just, <laughs> yeah, it was just a bit yeah. dull. But um, yeah, so yeah, that was just frustrating. Mm. But then um, anyway, so then they go like, and then it was all like, but we can't trust you. But how could you trust? Like, and then it was this whole trust thing. And then you realise when they're there, like basically they just like, tr- like their whole society is based on trust. Are you talking about sensor rights? Sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. So then there was a good like ten minutes of trust. Well, yeah. Later on, when we get down to the, the planet, it goes on a little bit. But too even long, before they've it? got to the planet, oh, they were yeah, like sorry, yeah, on the, the ship, like yeah. But we can't because, trust you. But no, you've got to trust us. But we don't trust you. I was like, oh my gosh, just like move it along. Yeah. You, you could have condensed that down. This could definitely be like a four parter. Yeah, definitely. So that, and then yeah. they get down there, and then. And then let's talk about baddies. Okay, yeah, let's talk about the baddie then. Let's just, okay, talk, let's about just talk about generally about, the baddies. about so this right, is so yeah. you've got your sensor rights, right? Yeah. They all look the same, same. <laughs> in the your grey onesie. They even admit it. They're in the grey onesies. Yeah. With the their Velcro hair in their the mouth back. and stuff. And um <laughs> <laughs> the Velcro on the back of them. <laughs> Velcro. They've all got Velcro up the back. <laughs> and the elder is the one with the black strap. Yeah, two sashes. With the two sashes. Yeah. Then you've got his deputy Second with the elder, one. Yeah. And then you've got the officer of, oh, what's he called? City administrator <laughs> yeah. with his black collar. Worst title ever. <laughs> City administrator. So he's the baddie. City administrator. Yeah. Sensorite is the baddie with the one with the black collar. You are presumptuous. I am the city's administrator. It is my duty to protect the one who rules. And then there's lots of... In- they want to... They don't trust anyone. Yeah. And then they have the like leader's scientists. the goodie, though. Yeah, the leader's, leader's the goodie. Yeah. And, the, and the second leader. Yeah. He's like... He's nice. So that... Yeah. They have scientists that have, like, an emblem on their top. Yeah. Um, But... You thought he was a very... Another panto villain. Oh, yeah. So this is what I've come to realise... The villains are panto villains. Well, we, it was only the guy in the Aztecs last time, wasn't it? Oh, he was proper panto villain. We haven't villain. really had any... Um, not the the main... Yeah, I suppose I don't so. know because... So, Marco Polo, I can't oh, say. Oh, had Warlord Tigana. Yeah, Could've but I been. can't say yeah. because we can't yeah. see it. Um, Daleks were Daleks. And in Marinus, you sort of had a few, didn't you? So. Yeah, so if it's a group, I don't yeah. think you can say it. It's when you have, like, a the targeted one. You've got, yeah. If he's the leader and then he might have minions around him. Yeah. But if it's, like, the one. I mean, even in the first episode, to some extent, and it was still sort of establishing, but you still had, um, oh, what's his name? Thar? Doesn't Who? matter. Oh, in Cal the, and... Cal and... Um, um, Callan Z- Zal? Zal. Zal. Yeah. And their sort of battle. But even yeah. then it was very like, oh, oh, you know, it, mm. and I guess it's just sort of the era, but like Panto villain. Mm. And this was, I mean, I said to you about like episode four, I was like, oh my God, he's doing my head in. City administrator, yeah. City administrator. He was like, plans. in your face. Like, yeah. And I was like, oh There's my all that gosh. all sort it's... of intrigue and it just went on a little bit, didn't it? I, yeah. Even I admit that as a yeah. fan. <laughs> and again, this probably isn't in anyone's top numbers it's not a, a standout no. one it's i think the main thing like, could we just go to the characters a minute so um <laughs> so susan Please. has quite yeah. this is a good story for susan yeah because it is she she finally there's a bit of more development and i think this is what people remember it for susan gets to do something susan gets to use her powers mm-hmm. of mind reading yeah or supposedly she has that Aspects when we said in an unearthly child, mm. you were like, Oh, I'm you wanted to sort of find out a little bit more about where they came from, or if yeah. you were expecting the story to unfold. Obviously, that went down. All she did was <laughs> scream in the jungle and burn her shoes and all that, but um, <laughs> and, and get like being a child of yeah. Ian and Barbara. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but here, you sort of go back, you could you could see the potential of Susan. Yeah, yeah. Being an alien, she could she could have had these um, telepathical powers yeah. the whole time. Imagine yeah. that. Yeah. 
And then you, there's a few scenes as well where she talks about her home planet and with the Doctor as well. Yeah. Do they miss their planet? They'll get home one day. So it's nice for, for her to have that. It's, and she yeah. gets involved. And, OK, yeah, Barbara's on holiday for two weeks. We'll get to that. <laughs> but at least that she can step up and she, she is very active and she doesn't scream that much. Well, it's nice because they address the fact that she's growing up. And they say that, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a child anymore, Grandfather. I'm not. Oh, Susan, Susan. About time. Yeah. So... But she's dressed like a schoolgirl in this. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically. But it's, it's nice that, like, that is finally sort of happening. Yes. Uh, well, that's the thing. It's... We shouldn't be like, oh, yes, finally something's happened after how many weeks. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, it's nice when that does happen. And it shows... If only they did that every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they... You know, it's an adventure thing and all that... But, yeah, but at the end of the day, like, it's got to like, happen at some point. Were you surprised at Susan's development, or were you, um, you know... I mean, they've all she developed. Really done, she didn't all do developed. anything last week, did she, or the week before? Um, much. I mean, what did she do The week before last? she was on holiday, wasn't she? Was she was on holiday, yeah, <laughs> yes. so she had the Aztecs off, and then Keys and Mariners, she did a bit, but... I, Again, and, she was very And then she was very instrumental in sorting out the end, you know, with the guiding them at the end in the yeah. city and stuff. And she got on with the the, the, the leader. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> her I and the leader. Her and the leader were very close, her weren't and they? the sensorite leader. We could have had sensorite children with oh Susan. Oh my gosh, yeah. The they were, like, I said to her, I was like, it's like some weird, like, oh, like, um, rom com moment, wasn't it? You know yeah. when you both talk at the yeah. same time, you're like, oh, um, <laughs> yeah. oh no, I, I, I was going to say, um, it was yeah, weird, absolutely. wasn't it? Like, anyway. she, I like that with, she, she immediately, as the younger one, she sort of, befriends the sensor rights and she always feels very comfortable wherever they are yeah apart from well unless you're in a screaming jungle or something but yeah. in this one she felt like yep she's traveled a lot she knows that she wants to yeah i'm probably overthinking this as well embrace no, no, new cultures fine. and you know yeah. you get, <laughs> read but people's she, um, minds <laughs> but that and they appreciated yeah. that he so, yeah i don't know i think it's this is a good one for susan too yeah susan's on good time yeah, yeah. um ian ian is well Ian is Ian. I think. Do you the think hero. he had a lot of eye makeup on in that first episode? <laughs> <laughs> they definitely he seemed to. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't take note. <laughs> I think he did. Um, <laughs> he's sort of middling. I mean, he got taken out, didn't he, by the virus? Ian, grandfather, he's unconscious. There is no hope. Well, yeah, it's his turn. To, I said, it's, no one's been unconscious for a while, so it's somebody's turn. Oh, no, Ian was unconscious in the Aztecs, wasn't he? He got um, thorned. Oh, yeah. That's two stories didn't in a row stop for him, him then. Didn't stop him, though. Two that is the beauty stories of Ian. Doesn't stop it him. It didn't stop him here. He was no. like, <laughs> he got so he drugged got, and Yeah, virused, and he still got up and, and he got up going. and had to go. Yeah. yeah. He's always doing that. He's always doing that. Yeah. It's the beauty of Ian. I mean, no, no sort of stunt fights or anything in this one. No. A little bit less for him to do, but he's yeah. still when he needs to. When he needs to go down that viaduct, he will go down. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, <laughs> so that was um, yeah. So, so he didn't do as much this episode. You know, what, remember, you know that? Do you know what was weird? When it starts in the very first episode, that chat in the TARDIS at the begin with. Yeah. Oh, we've been to here. We've been yeah. to there, and oh, it's been, and I they mean, like even little, more of a sort of a group. Yeah, thing. they've done like a nice little um. Roundup. Yeah. They? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think maybe the episode was running short of time? I don't know. And they had to add that in. It's a very. It's nice to see that though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe but. though that's a nice setup for the very end. Yes, maybe it's coming towards maybe. the end of the series. Well, yeah. no, no, no. For oh. the end of this episode. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. Um, but no. Yeah, he's. Yeah, that's Ian. Ian is a. Uh, yeah, so as you know, I mean, really. I think he did really well here. Yeah. Um, like I said, it wasn't like lead character, but he was always there. He was always yeah. there. Everyone had their bit to do, really, in this. Apart from... <laughs> well, apart from maybe Barbara. Barbara ran off on holes. So it was she Barbara's start. turn. Barbara's turn for two weeks off. Yeah. Leaving, left up in the ship, wasn't she it? She was left up on the ship. Came back um, with a great tan. <laughs> she did come back with a tan, <laughs> if you notice. <laughs> she came back tan. Sorry about this, Barbara. I keep telling you I shall be all right. We were like, some bed up on the ship. She's the one that... Um, it's her, it's nice with her and Susan at the beginning when they yeah. meet John and they're scared of John. And, of course, I said it's Barbara and Susan that go off in of the course, wrong place. Of course, of um, course. Very protective of Susan. Classic Barbara, that. Um, 
not really much else for her to do. And at the end, she the end of this was very quickly wrapped up, wasn't it? The end of this whole story, because you've got the, the poisoning of the viaduct. Oh, not yeah. Not the viaduct, aqueducts. Aqu- <laughs> viaduct? What's the difference? Aqueduct I don't know, whatever. Not, anyway, the, there's a vi- Yeah, yeah. <laughs> viaduct. Let's say viaduct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> poisoning but, of the viaduct. And then yeah. that whole last scene where there's those people hiding and they've been put... But that is like, classic and then they go, do, 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 do. Six... I was looking at the time and I was like... There's like six minutes to wrap this all up and they're still captured. Yeah. What is... <laughs> but that is it. Like we have like five episodes of slow and then we wrap yeah. it up in five minutes. We'll go we'll come back to it, but the, all the sensorite stuff, like the three episodes of sensorite stuff, back and forth. Back yeah, and we don't forth. need to go into all it. That, that is literally what it is. And it's when a when you've lot got of the chat. sensorites when they're masks and the thing, I was saying, you can't see their mouths. No. It's you can't really see their hair. eyes. Yeah. It's a rubber thing with lots of hair. Yeah. So it's not like you're watching these conversations and they're being very emotive or... or no. it's just It's just rubber flapping. You don't really see <laughs> flapping. I, well, like, bit, you're yeah. literally, you're just, just looking some, at it's faces. It's rubber flapping in a, in, a, in a onesie. It's not like... You're, you're just seeing like, people talking. It, it's like a puppet it's show. It's kind of like watching the stills. <laughs> yeah, tele- it might as well be tele snaps, yeah. Yeah. Maybe this one. Yeah, but imagine if this one was missing. Oh my gosh. Actually. If this one was missing, everyone would be like, they're the scariest monsters ever. If only we could see them. <laughs> if only we could see how they walked. They would be really creepy. They just walk. <laughs> and then you get the doctor. Doctor has a great time He's on good this. In this. He's he really is good, good in this. this. And I'm enjoying, well, as I say, we're enjoying it more. It's more of a team. He yeah. did a lot more when he's he's working the stuff out. He's taking the lead. I know because Ian was drugged and Barbara was on holiday, but he's trying to find the cure. And you see yeah. the montage, the science montage we called it with the test yeah, tubes. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious! That. But it, it's that was so funny. That is not the doctor. He wouldn't have done that a few stories ago. Well, we said as well. He's more like he's more like the modern doctor, where you can yeah. see like David Tennant doing so, go, running around getting all well, the ingredients for something it, it's that sort but of thing but we said as well you can tell that like it's popular now because he's actually enjoying it yeah yeah he's like this is going to be great sensor rights the next big thing <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no, no. but you can tell that like he's actually enjoying the role he's in it because yeah it's he's yeah he's, he's, he's invested enjoy- and I feel like he's enjoying the company of everybody else yeah as well yeah like they're a good he's team he's invested yeah he's invested yeah he wants to be the hero. Yeah. 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 So, um, yeah, whereas before... But it's, like, doctor, it it's good. And, it's, yeah, as I say, those, that chat a great with, time. the chat with Susan about the home planet and everything. and Yeah. And I think... Oh, I should know this. Susan says about her home planet being, like, the sky's burnt orange yeah. and the leaves and stuff. Oh, it's ages since we've seen our planet. It's quite like Earth. But at night, the sky is a burnt orange. And the leaves on the trees are bright silver. I'm pretty sure that's what David Tennant says about Gallifrey. Oh, really? It's referenced again a couple of times, oh, I think. that's cute. And obviously in, in the new series, the sky is orange on Gallifrey. The second sun would rise in the south and the mountains would shine. The leaves on the trees were silver. So I think it's, all, it's come from that. That's what happens in these early ones. You have little references like that, which the writers at the time are like... Well, script, just, let's just write whatever and make stuff. Yeah. It's made up as you go. And then further down the line, it sort of gets... It is part... Well, it, com- is, it becomes it's, part of the thing. It's That's the history, where they isn't write it? it up. And while we're talking about the new series, in the new series, do you know the Ood? I'm not allowed to watch any of it. But you do, have you me. seen the Ood? No. You must have seen an Ood. No. You know, with the... No. <laughs> no? You've not seen any Ood? No. In your, you don't like... Your, no, I mean, in your previous, just watching bits Probably. and pieces. No, the, Oh, sort of, yeah. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, with yeah, the with the ball. Yeah, with the ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. So in the... I didn't know that was its name. They're called the so, Ood. Right. So it, there's a reference to uh, the Ood planet being near the sense sphere, as if they're like ah, um, sort of friends. relative sort of species, <laughs> like they're related. Yeah. Because you can see, actually, they do look very yeah, similar. Yeah. So Just supposed, one's got fur on its yeah, face. Yeah, one's and fur this and has... one's got the thing. So they're supposed to be related to the Ood. Ah. In a way, which nice. is quite nice. Yeah, so it's yeah. nice. <laughs> so yeah. you get those those things in early Doctor Who where then, you know, the writers who are sort of fans yeah. like to put bits and pieces in. It sort of all ties it up. That's cute. Quite nice. So you That's know, cute. 
Um, where were we? Doctor, yes. Um, it's a great episode. It's good, yeah. Um, so overall then, for the sensor rights, how are you sort of... I, I sense that you haven't enjoyed this one as much. And I, I found it... Yeah, I I oh, like those... I, I would say I like the opening episodes, but later on there's just too much repetitiveness. And I think we are going to get a lot of that in the future, unfortunately. They're not all going to be as exciting as Keys and Marinus. <laughs> I loved Keys and Marinus. Uh, but I, it just lacked a bit of adventure for me. Yeah. If you want a sort of... I, don't, I was going to say political thriller, but it's not really that, is it? But <laughs> it's <laughs> if you, it's more than that than adventure. Yeah. Um, but... I think if I... Okay, so the first one, the first episode, I really enjoyed. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, that was great. Then the second one felt a bit slow. The third one felt a bit slow. And then I was like... Mm. Yeah, and then I'm like, well, really, only halfway through. It's not as engaging. Yeah. Because the characters aren't... I mean, Carol and, as you say, we don't see Maitland again. John is just has that thing on his head and he sits there talking a bit funny even when he's cured yeah. and she's like oh i'm glad you're back i'm like he hasn't changed at all he's talking exactly but the same like, as he was but also john i didn't when john was cured it was fine but i like like when he was taught you know i wasn't I know, that invested in no, them because we the seen yeah them. and carol and you, know, you had that cliffhanger where she's captured and we're just like and they walk it's in the just room a bit like well, that's the thing she's captured a cliffhanger one we don't care in the first place two five minutes into the next episode she's free and it's not yeah. like and it was just, cold like I felt like they were just going through the motions just to extend the something yeah. to do yeah absolutely it didn't like nothing nothing benefited from no. it it was just yeah I like think, I said I the first the, one I thought was great the second one I was like mm, that felt a bit longer the third one I was like oh, god that felt long and then I was like oh, okay we're halfway through the six <laughs> yeah so then the fourth one yeah. I was like oh yeah. And then we went and got food and I was like, okay, two to go. Yeah. So like it was <laughs> even the breaks we had didn't really help. Did no. It? <laughs> so it was yeah, it just felt a bit slow. It didn't, yeah. Um I but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the baddies and it doesn't mean like because but mm, no, actually I take that back. He was really annoying. He was really <laughs> the, annoying. Uh, Chief administrator, Chief no admin city, city administrator, city administrator. City administrator. Oh my God, he was so annoying. <laughs> the greatest and he, villain. And then he became like the second elder. Yeah, and it was just his rudeness. He was like, "You call me sir," and I was like, uh, "Do you think it was the same actor?" I think, so. yeah, I think so. I was like, no, 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 oh. as in like... No, it's the same one. They did do No, no, as in so. from Aztecs. Oh, no, it's not. No. Can you because like, no. it was the same sort of like <laughs> acting, wasn't it? I think that's just the kind of acting they had in those days. Oh, my gosh, it was so annoying. Oh, so remember that, what that sensor right? Um, there was a sensor right that was like... Um, Oh, control me! Do oh, yeah. <laughs> what was he like? He was like, control me. Tell me what to do. Control me. Yeah. Say this. Yeah. Control like... me. We were like, oh, hello. <laughs> so um, yeah, I know it was just a bit like, nah. It was a bit <laughs> beige. It was just a bit yeah. beige. That's all. Yeah. But I think what it did do was have the regulars have a good. Yeah. Have that they they managed to do. Maybe stuff. it's a luck. I like those moments that they had. Yeah, maybe 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 we need Barbara. To you know, no, things and maybe up a bit. that's what made it bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Barbara, I didn't, I didn't miss Barbara. Start. I missed Barbara in this. Did you? I did, yeah. I don't think it made much difference. <laughs> but I think also, actually, that's kind of something I've realised. If someone is missing, it doesn't <laughs> yeah. make that much impact if the story's. Well, this is funny because actually Barbara was completely out for two weeks, whereas in the Aztecs, when Susan was on holiday. Or well, Caroline Ford was on holiday. She filmed her bits, so she still had a few scenes. Yeah. But this was like, oh, she's out. And she's the in doctor the other room. in in um, oh yeah, Mariners. he was completely yeah, he out. Yeah, was completely gone. So also, we didn't enough. know who was going to go, did we? We yeah, were no. like, oh, <laughs> we were like Barbara. It looks like well, Barbara's because they didn't. Yeah. She was like, I'm. Um, I'll go and we were like what well, they can't say but um, no, no Susan, Susan was going to go down Susan to the planet and we were like, like it's not a holiday <laughs> yeah. Caroline Ford ago. has had a holiday <laughs> <laughs> she can't book any more yet until next series yeah. <laughs> it's either Ian or Barbara is on yeah. holiday yeah. so it's Ian next we know yeah we know it's Ian and he deserves it oh god he's a... maybe that's <laughs> it maybe he didn't do much this episode because he's tired 
Yeah, maybe he's leading up to his, his yeah, holiday. They're like, we weren't yeah. giving too much. He's had three now. He's winding <laughs> down, ready for holiday. Maybe yeah. that's why. Anyway. What did you think about the little argument at the end of the story? Yeah, so, so that's what re- I mean. Again, we had a really quick wrap up. Yeah. And then in however many minutes. All he said and there was, was still time for a TARDIS scene. Oh, look, they know where they're going. And then suddenly, like, Bruh, like massive. And I wondered whether, you know, they started the episode with, like, oh, look at all these nice adventures. Yes, we've gone quite a nice little yes. group, haven't we? To suddenly be like, right, well, I'm dropping you off on the next. It just seemed to come out of the blue completely. Yeah. And I know he's still got that sort of side to him. He's not, like, still the nicest. No. To, towards people I mean he, I think he's he cares. been pretty just, good though he, well, he has lately yeah and it, so that was quite funny that he just suddenly just went again if, I'd rather them just have that sort of ending rather than just trying to they're just trying to make a cliffhanger for next week well that the, and all it get is. him off on holiday that is all it is because if they send him off the ship he'll be on holiday for a few weeks won't he we'll have to see what happens we will have to see. so it was called the next episode was called A Land of Fear yeah any suggestions of what you think might happen next? Somewhere scary. Somewhere scary. Mm. Bearing in mind that the Doctor's going to make Ian and Barbara leave the moment they land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Ian will get captured. That's my guess. <laughs> okay. Well, we shall see. Yeah. We shall see. Um Yeah. Well, not bad. Not the best monsters, unfortunately. No. And again... I'm not going to spoil it. The sensor rights don't come back. <laughs> Just Aww, so you know. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> they can head off with the Vord in the <laughs> in the collection of monsters that don't come back. <laughs> yeah, I won't it's, miss um, them. Well, no. no, I will not miss that chief, whatever um, he was. Chief, city. City administrator. <laughs> Why can't we get city administrator? I'm pretty sure he's because the city administrator. Because it's the most ridiculous <laughs> title ever can you imagine like you are the first like lead you are the second and you are the city administrator it's like the worst title anyway okay then well let's hope we have a more exciting finale finale to this series i do yeah i'm not sure if they'd invented finales as such back then but um we're in 1964 still so um yeah, we will be very... So if you are a fan of the sensor rights, please let us know what you think. <laughs> Souls. What's your favourite What's your well, favorite character? Not. What's your favourite sensor right? What's was your it number one? Was it number two? We want your top three sensor rights. Maybe it was number five. <laughs> or maybe it was, what's it called? The two that didn't have a number. Yeah. Or the scientist. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let us know what you think. We are 2 Watch Who on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, or you can, if you've subscribed to us, please do, <laughs> um, or give us a review on Apple Podcasts. I hope no one likes the city administrator. Oh, there'll be some fan. If you're a fan of the city administrator... <laughs> Don't get in touch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in touch. <laughs> um, and also, just to say, after we finish this series, we're going to do a little sort of wrap-up, looking back at the whole of the first series, so let us know anything any of your thoughts and we'll um, have a bit of a chat at the end of this first series so that will be exciting yeah and we'll look back on our favourite our favourite panto villains <laughs> <laughs> um, but until then we shall see you next time bye bye to watch who Hey, Doctor Who, what are you talking about?